The name of this video is Ira Krakow's Blender 2.49 Pixar Eyeball Tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to make a Pixar looking eye. The idea for this tutorial came from a post by KSF2010 on my Blender 3D forum, forum.iracrakow.com. He rendered a whale with Pixar eyes. You can see his render at forum.iracrakow.com and I have the link to his topic. I was curious how to do Pixar eyes and he mentioned some tutorials on the web. So there's a tutorial at Blender 3D Noob to Pro. It has an iris texture and I'm going to be using that as the base for my uh, tutorial. There's also a more general tutorial or technique by Adam Baruti, which I have a link as well. One of the main reasons that Pixar's characters really convey life is in their eyes. They have depth. You can see how the eye not only shines but collects light. In this tutorial we'll create a simple eyeball without ray tracing that you can enhance. This is certainly not the ultimate final Pixar eyeball render. It's just my best shot at it. Here are four parts of the eyeball to render. The eye white or sclera, which is the big spherical oozy shape of the eye. Then there's the iris, the circular area around the eye. The pupil is the part of the eye that gives the eye its color. Finally, the cornea is the semi-transparent enclosure for the iris and the pupil. So let's start with the eye white or sclera. Start up Blender, delete the default cube, right click to select, press the delete key and then press enter to confirm. Add a UV sphere with eight segments and eight rings. To create the hole at the front of the eyeball, delete the eight triangular faces that make up one end of the eyeball. Press tab to go into edit mode. Click off the 3D transform manipulator. Click on the triangle icon or press control tab 3 to go into face select mode. Press the A key to deselect all faces. Press the Z key to go into solid mode. Press the occlude background geometry button because we don't want to delete the f back faces of the eye. Press the B key to go to border select mode. Select the middle eight triangles by creating a rectangle and enclosing the eyeball faces. Press delete and select faces. Let's tweak the eyeball material. Select the eyeball. Press tab to go into object mode. Click the shading buttons F5. Select the material. Make the material color white by setting R equals 1, G equals 1, and B equals 1. In reality, it's the eyeball is not purely white and there are blood vessels, but this is a good approximation. In the shaders tab, dial up the specularity setting to 1.25 and the hardness to 165. Click on the edit buttons, F9. Click set smooth button. Click the modifiers tab. Add a subsurf modifier at level 2. These are just my best guesses. Experiment until you get the right color, specularity, and hardness. Let's adjust the camera and the lighting. In top view from the view menu, select camera. Then align active camera to view. Let's move the light closer to the camera. The easiest way to do that is first select the camera. Then press shift S to, and select cursor to selection. Then select the lamp, press Shift S and select Selection to Cursor. This places the light directly at the camera location. Split the 3D window by right clicking on the bottom border, selecting Split Area and positioning the cursor, then pressing Enter. Make the right window a camera view. So move the lamp a bit to the side of the camera and press F12 to render. And now for the iris. To make the iris, from the top view, num7, add a circle, space, add mesh circle, with eight vertices. Tab into edit mode. Go to vertex select by selecting the icon with the dots or pressing control tab one. Press the A key to select all the vertices. Press the E key to extrude, only don't extrude. Select edges only and press enter. Then press S to scale the extruded circle inside about one quarter of the way inward. Press enter to confirm. Tab into object mode. Now add the texture to the iris. Select the shader button F5 and click add new to add a new material. Click the shadeless button because we are using the image texture without the lights affecting it. We're going to add an image texture for the iris. 
Press F6 to get to the texture window. Click Add New. The texture type is Image. Then click Load Image and select iris.png, the iris texture on the Blender Noob to Pro tutorial site. To position the iris in the right place, bordering inside the hole of the eyeball, do the following. Select the eyeball, press Shift S, select Cursor to Selection, then select the iris mesh, press Shift S, choose Selection to Cursor. Scale the iris down until you can see it inside the eyeball. Then press the G key, then the Z key to move the iris up so that it borders the hole. Switch to camera view, view camera or numpad zero. You'll have to scale the iris a bit to get it right. Smooth the iris mesh. Go to the edit buttons F9 and press set smooth. Then click on modifiers and select subsurf at level one. Press F12 to render. And now for the pupil. Go to the top view, num7, create a mesh circle with a default of 32 vertices. Extrude the edges, press the E key, then press enter. Scale the resulting edges inward until they merge close to the center. Add a material by pressing F5 and clicking the add new button. Make the material light blue by making R equals 0, G equals 0.6, and B equals 1. Make the material shadeless so the pupil is not affected by the lights. You can of course change the color anytime you want. Smooth out the pupil by going to the edit buttons F9 and pressing set smooth. Click on the modifiers button, select subsurf and give it a level 1 subsurf. Again to position the pupil correctly select the eyeball, press shift S, choose cursor to selection, select the pupil, press shift S, Choose Selection to Cursor. Scale the pupil down until you see it from the inside of the eyeball. Press the G key, then the Z key, and move the pupil up until it encloses the rest of the hole. Switch the camera view to make the final adjustments, and press F12 to render. And now for the cornea. The cornea is simply a piece that fits exactly in the middle of the hole in the eye white. From the top view, num7, Add a circle with eight vertices. Space, add mesh circle. Tab into edit mode. Make sure all the vertices are selected. If not, press the A key until they are all selected. Press the E key to extrude the edges and press enter immediately. Then scale the cornea down until the vertices almost touch. Press tab to go into object mode. Add a new material by going to the shading buttons F5 and clicking add new. The cornea is a transparent circle that surrounds the iris and the pupil. Let's give it a greenish color by selecting R equals 0.5, G equals 1, and B equals 0.5. You can set these to anything you want with the effect of a sort of greenish contact lens color to the eye. Set the alpha value of the cornea to 0.1. In the shaders tab set spec equals 0.6 and hardness equals 255. Turn on Z transparency in the render pipeline section and make sure that the traceable button under render pipeline in the links and pipelines tab is turned off. Smooth out the cornea by going to the edit buttons F9 and pressing set smooth. Click on the modifiers tab, select subsurf and give it a level 1 subsurf. To position the cornea correctly, select the eyeball, press shift S, choose cursor to selection, Select the cornea, press Shift S, choose Selection to Cursor. Scale the cornea down until you see it from the inside of the eyeball. Press the G key, then the Z key. Move the cornea up until it encloses the rest of the hole. Switch to camera view to make the final adjustments and press F12 to render. Creating the eye. To create the eye, you need to join the meshes. To do that, change the view on the right to Outline View. Shift select the eye white, iris, pupil, and cornea. Press Ctrl J to join the meshes. The resulting mesh is your eye. To officially name it, go to the edit buttons F9 and rename the object in the OB section to eye. The eye is ready to be placed in your head model to be animated or whatever. That's it. If you enjoyed my tutorial, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and to discuss my video at forum.iracrackout.com. Happy blendering!